Alright, hello everybody. This is my liquid culture tech video. This is a tech I picked up off a messaging board, so it's not available on YouTube yet. And it's how I've been able to get my jars exploding with mycelium in record time. Um, jars fully colonized in about 10 days and ready to spawn a substrate in about two weeks. Alright, let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a standard still air box set up. Nothing special about the jars. Um, I use your standard self-healing injection port. And to flame sterilize my needle, I'm using a prone pain torch you can get at the plumbing section at Home Depot for about 25 bucks. One thing I would like you to notice though, is that I'm flame sterilizing my needle on each injection. And as I draw up from my jar of liquid culture, I like to tilt the jar over on its side. This gives easy access to the thick gooey mycelium. I'm loading up a whole syringe full, so you want to make sure you get as much of that white gooey goodness as you possibly can. And here's a quick view of what it looks like from the other side. So this next step is not completely necessary, and it stems from an overabundance of caution, but it's something I got in the habit of doing. Um, I noticed what was killing my jars of birdseed is when the liquid culture would pool up at the bottom, and I like to leave it laying on its side like this for 24 hours. This just lets that liquid culture soak into a broader surface area, and makes it virtually impossible for it to ever pool up at the bottom again but we are going to be shaking our jars up so like i said it's not completely necessary just something i do okay and here we have our four jars they've been laying on their side filter pointed up for 24 hours and they're ready to be shaken up um, you really don't need to overdo it just shake it around a little and tap the ones off the side of the jar just go over it a couple times and it's probably dispersed evenly through the jar by then. You really don't need to overdo it. That can actually lengthen the time of colonization. So keep it simple. Normally I would speed up the video through this part, but I'm going to let it play in real time for a while just so you get an idea of how much shaking you need to do. And it's not much. And there you have it, folks. It is that easy. Now you just leave your jar standing up the right side and watch the mycelium grow. So I filmed these same four jars over the course of a week, just so you can see for yourself how effective this method is. You can see we already have little spots of mycelial growth. And by day three there was even much more growth. And here's what a couple of those jars look like on day five. And 
Bam, look at that. One week later and they're almost completely closed in. They'll be ready to spawn in about 14 to 17 days tops. And that's it folks. This is the liquid culture tech I've been using for quite some time now. And all of my jars turn out like this. And it's great. Well, I guess that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters! <laughs>